Here we're given two basic statements. P is you give me $10,000 and Q is I will give you my car. Then we're given these four compound statements, each of which is a conditional statement. And we want to go from this word statement into a symbolic statement for each of them. So all we do is we will use the conditional arrow which says that whatever's on the left implies whatever's on the right. So if whatever's on the left, then whatever's on the right. In the first statement, if you give me $10,000, so that's the P, if P, then I will give you my car, which is Q. So if P, then Q, which you could also read P implies Q, or Q follows from P, things like that. But if P then Q is the standard. For the second one, notice that we reversed it a little bit, and this is something that we can do in English, where the if goes with the second half of the sentence. So, if you give me $10,000, that's P, that goes on the left, and then the first half of the sentence is the result, the implication. So, if you give me $10,000, then I won't give you my car. Q is I will give you my car, so I won't give you my car is the negation of that, or not Q. The third statement says if you don't give me $10,000, I won't give you my car. The if here goes with the first half, so you don't give me $10,000 is the condition, and I won't give you my car is the result or the implication. You don't give me $10,000 is not P, so we write not P, implies I won't give you my car, which is not Q. For the last one, if I don't give you my car, that's not Q, that's the condition, that implies you don't give me $10,000, which is not P. So these four statements we can take in English and write them symbolically in a standard form.